What's up? Who's here? Let's see what's happening. It's almost time to start the stream. It is time to start the stream. I'll wait for people to slowly trickle in. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How's the audio sound? Should be should be good tonight. Got everything in order. The last couple streams, for one reason or another, haven't had the microphone set up, so should be okay tonight. How's everybody doing on St. Patrick's Day? You guys all drinking, having fun, getting shwasted? <laughs> Hello, Sil. Hello! <laughs> Hello's all around. Assembling. friend electrical skateboard is gone <laughs> whoever that was somebody just like camped in my chat for a couple weeks and is gone now but that's okay it was a little bit weird I didn't know what to make of it <laughs> ready for your heart to be destroyed good because that's definitely what's gonna happen I'm super excited let me scoot the screen up a little bit. It won't scoot up. Err. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, you're right, Sol. Maybe they actually were paying attention. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> together. Stare at the sandwich that I didn't finish eating. <laughs> Crawls in through the window. Good. Okay. So last time, so much stuff went down. Well, I spent like an hour and a half or something fighting a boss. Still, and Hina were here. It was super fun. I'll finish the sandwich eventually. I'll finish it during like long cutscenes. <laughs> um, let me use a tent while I'm here. This is a perfect time to camp out overnight. <clears throat> but yeah, Sil and Hina were here. We saw some of Vivi's backstory. We went to where Vivi grew up, quote unquote. Was raised by Quail. One of the one of the coup. I don't know how to pronounce that. Learned about Vivi. I destroyed that book. <laughs> well into the night. I got some really good items off of that book, which is great. So that's cool. I think I don't even have any of them equipped right now. <laughs> I got um, demon's mail and a weapon. I think I forget. Don't have the demon's mail equipped. Um. Let me think about that one. It absorbs Shadow Elemental. And I don't know if we are fighting anybody who has that. I got this. I'm gonna equip it on her just because. Defense goes way up and it only lowers the other stats by a little bit. 
So, um, we got from Trino. After Sil miraculously beat the Trino card tournament in one go, that was great. Thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> so we went to Trino, played some stupid card game that Sil just destroyed at, and then we came back to Alexandria on Sid's mistless airship. And Dagger is in trouble because Kuja, with Bahamut, attacked and destroyed Alexandria. Dagger and Echo together summoned the Adelon Alexander, who destroyed Bahamut. And now we're trying to get up to the top of the castle where Dagger and Echo are right now. And see what the heck is happening. So Bahamut's just sort of dead now. Which is weird and a bummer. But there you have it. That's where we're at right now. How do I get upstairs? That's the real question. I think it was one of these stairways on the left. Yes. <clears throat> so fingers crossed. Oh yeah, this is where Dagger came up this way. And all of those statues, like, put their swords down so that she couldn't go backwards. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Gee, what is this? This, so this is the secret of Alexandria Castle. Are Dagger and Echo up there? Maybe. Let's go see. Is it called Alexandria because where Alexander lives? Maybe. Yes, basically. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Quack, what are you doing? There's no point in all of us going. I'll take it from here. Said Ain, why? <laughs> exactly. Why? I want to go with you. I want to help Dagger and Echo too. Kuja might destroy this castle at any minute. Get out of here while you can. Go on, Vivi. Don't worry about me. He's not, he's not worried about you. He's worried about his friends, Dagger and Echo. Someday, you'll probably do the same thing for someone who's really important to you. Dagger is more important to me than any anything else. Man, you make me sick. I'm out of here. Next time you want to play hero, don't even bother calling me. <laughs> Later. I guess there's no way to stop you. But remember, this is not just your war, so don't even think about fighting Kujin now. As soon as you find Dagger, leave. Alright. Come on, Vivi. Let's go. Freya, wait. Let him go, Vivi. You'll be alright. Zidane. <laughs> Sanders in this game. Sorry I can't take you with me, but I have to go with my instincts on this one. I don't know what else to say. Okay, Zidane. Good luck. Zidane, you fool. I better not... Yes, yeah, seriously, follow him anyway. What am I thinking? Dagger's upstairs. I better not have to fight anything. <laughs> Although I might fight with Dagger and Ake. Maybe? Question mark. Uh oh! What the heck was that? Blah. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. <clears throat> it's the invincible. So these wings belong to Alexander. It's been protecting Alexandria Castle this whole time. From Kuja and his weird airship, the Invincible. Uh-oh. Rependant.
Oh, Aiko. Don't worry about it. Uh, Dagger, I'm sorry. I don't know why I wasn't honest with you. <clears throat> Sayain, we really made a big mess, didn't we? Oh. We'll talk later. Let's get out of here. Make <laughs> space. I love Garland's theme. Oh god. Poor Alexander. Poor Alexandria. <clears throat> More souls have returned. In microscopic proportions, the process still continues after thousands of years. Eventually, these circulating souls will no longer belong to Gaia. They must never be circulated back. Kuja did well. If only he had lasted longer. What's he talking about? I never imagined he would choose to end his remaining days on Gaia. Perhaps this was his fate, set in ages past. I too cannot escape my fate. Someday I must face your counterpart. What is he talking about? Is anybody, like, piecing anything together out of all these weird cryptic things that this guy and Kuja keep talking about? <laughs> Meanwhile, I guess we're just gonna forget about Ale Alexandria. So you can see, the reconstruction is moving right along. Good. We've started building airship number three. It's going well, too. Wow. Many engineers from the industrial district have volunteered. Our people are so strong. I never realized until now. They have faith in you, Regent. That is why they can be strong. They are proud to be citizens of Limlum. Good. Guess who it is? Baku? You guessed right. <laughs> hey, Regent. What's going on? I'm tired from working day and night on a new airship. Hey, why don't you come by the research center and give us a hand sometime? If you'll all recall, Regent... Er, yeah, Regent Sid hired Baku and his theater troop to kidnap Dagger in the very beginning of the game. So, they know each other. You talking to both of us? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We already have enough people working on it. Oh, do you know how Zaydane's doing? He's fine. In fact, he's probably awake now. Blank, go to the castle and see how he's doing. Oh, and tell him to come to my room. Mm-hmm. Dagger. Eiko. How did I get here? How indeed. Pretty abrupt scene change from Alexandria being destroyed and then to hear Egoist's armlet. That's perfect for you, Zidane. Thank god, I need some new. Don't learn anything new from it. Oh well. Hmm. Zidane. So, how are you feeling? Okay, I guess. I burped. By the way, which one's more important? Probably, I mean, I know what Zidane would pick, but I kind of want the full details of what happened. How did I get here? So what happened after that? How did I get here? Slow down, jeez. Things were so chaotic, it took forever to find you guys. No one really got hurt except you. I heard you pulled some crazy stunt. Yeah, Echo and Dagger were in trouble, so... Always showing off. You got hurt pretty bad because of that. After we found you guys, we stole a ship by the port and escaped. Wow, I don't remember any of that. I didn't think so. You know, you slept three days straight. Really? 
By the way, Sid said he wanted to talk to you in the Royal Chamber. Oh, okay. I wonder what he wants. Go see Sid, he's in the Royal Chamber. Not until I investigate everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up? My blue moon got rebuilt. I didn't like false root. Can I ask you a favor? Mood on. Let's do it. I'm just gonna not save for now. We've only just started. <clears throat> My nose is just... Oh, something washed ashore. What could that be? <laughs> Man, this doesn't look good. Yeah, whatever it is, I think it's dead. Hey, you're supposed to be on duty. <gasps> Captain! Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but we found this weird thing by the shore. Step aside. <clears throat> I used to be a sea dog, so I know a thing or two about these things. Mm. It's dead. Go find a doctor right away. I'll be damned. They got their butts moving in a hurry. It's about time I started getting some respect around here. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Where is this? Oh, I'm so hungry. Okay, that's right, when we were in Trino, <laughs> Quinna saw the reflection of what looked like food on the water and decided to jump in. Some old man was like, I've seen so many people commit suicide. Gambling debts, tragic. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> old man, what have you seen? Hey, look, it's Aaron. No, it's not. Our number two has engine problems. Looks like we won't be going anywhere for a while. <laughs> How dare you? Regent wishes to see you. Go to the Royal Chamber. Fine. Still... Oh, you can go to the airship docks from the hall upstairs. Who this? Aaron? Is it you? Nope. Guys who fool around, so I have to watch over them closely. Still don't know what this fountain is all about. Hmm. Looks like there's no place to insert the metal. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Go upstairs to get to the airship dock. Am I going upstairs or am I going to the Regents thing? I do wish. Take me upstairs. Good. <clears throat> Insert the metal. Royal Chamber and Conference Room are down the hall. Let me go this way first. What's happening over here? Cool. Hold on one sec. My job's pretty simple, but the lift wouldn't operate without me. Gotta take pride in whatever you do. Know what I'm saying? Good. This is where we saw Dagger serenading all of the birds. And then we looked out at the telescope. The view is great on a clear day. Yeah. Jeez, even after Limblum's been, like, ransacked, these people are still all goofing off. <laughs> Limblum's soldiers are pretty, pretty chill. <gasps> Dagger! Well, look who's here. Man, we went through some crazy stuff, huh? I honestly didn't think I was going to make it this time. But as you can see, I'm all right now. Dagger? Something wrong? Oh, okay. You're so happy to see me, you don't know what to say. I didn't know you loved me so much. Did I do something wrong? Alright, what did I do wrong? Uh-oh. Maybe she's just tired. A lot has happened since Bronze's death. I'd better cheer her up. Hey, let's go check out the town. It'll be fun. Come on. I 
like she's starting to get annoyed. I'm a double orphan and now I'm homeless. <laughs> oh god. Maybe I should leave her alone. I guess you have a lot on your mind right now. Sorry to bother you. I'll see you later. Saitane, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh. oh, dagger. Yeah, you couldn't see Alexandria from here because the mountains are between it and Limblum. Hmm. You guys think she lost her voice? Well, that's gonna be real unfortunate if she's just perma silenced and can't use magic. Let alone summon. Again. Oh, dagger. Caught this room is down the hall. Oops, I didn't mean to leave. <clears throat> I wish I was expecting you. Do I want to go down or up? I'm going up. Oh, wait, no, the region's up here. I did want to go down. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> At last, the hero has awakened. I heard you wanted to see me. What's up? After reviewing the attack on Alexandria, we're discovered, we've discovered some interesting facts. Facts I think you all should know. The others are waiting in the conference room. We can begin the meeting at any time. I don't know what I did for Artania's voice, so it's just kind of... Old man? Question mark? Alright, let's begin. <clears throat> Please, follow me. His voice changes with every single scene he appears in. <laughs> oh, I said... Oh. <laughs> Is that everyone? We are still missing the princess. I'll go get her. Wait. Oh well. Let's begin. Where should I start? Yeah, where is Beatrix? She's still in Alexandria. She doesn't join the party! <laughs> uh oh. Self reproach. Hmm. <clears throat> Alexandria is gone. I still can't believe it. So many people were killed. The survivors are homeless and destitute. How could this have happened? Maybe I shouldn't have listened to Ego and summoned Alexander. No, it's not her fault. It's my fault. I never should have run away from home. I got everyone involved in this. Sidane, Vivi, Steiner, everyone. Had I stayed with Mother, Maybe I could have stopped her. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have assumed the throne. I thought I could make amends, but... I've only brought misery to everyone. What am I going to do now? Dagger, no! The town is now in shambles. Many innocent lives were lost. Arr, I can imagine. Her Highness is probably beyond despair. I have never witnessed such tragedy. There was nothing we could do. We fought with everything we had, but to no avail. Beatrix and I were prepared to give our lives. I don't know what happened to her. Uh oh. We have spent much time and effort rebuilding Limblum. But I believe it will take much longer for our people to overcome their losses. Those who survived have a long, tough road ahead of them. Bermatia, Clara, Limblum, and now Alexandria. Kuja has vanquished all four nations. <clears throat> what is he trying to accomplish? Who knows? Let's just go get him! It's 
not that easy. Kuz's powers are beyond ours. How do you plan to fight him? Mm. Kuja is a man of many mysteries indeed. I still can't believe what I saw when I, we were evacuating from Alexandria. What? What did you see? I saw him escape on my stolen airship, Hildegard 1. What? Well, shit. There were black mages on board, too. They weren't any old black mages. They were talking normally. No! No way. Are you sure about this? There's no doubt. Why? Why are they with Kucha? Can I... Oh, deep anger. I was gonna say, can I walk around and talk to them? But no, I can't. Look who it is! That blast almost destroyed our ship. For a second, I thought I was... <laughs> what am I thinking? What can that old fool do to me? He can't kill me. Nothing can. Besides, he's too late. The wheels are already in motion. Uh-oh. Black mages. That's a black mage, all right. I won't let him interfere. Ew. Gross. What happened? Terrible injuries you have suffered. Oh yeah, he's all kind of like tattered. <laughs> Let me approve your message. <laughs> yeah, could just like his little butt cape is all beat up and his hair is kind of dirty. I didn't notice. Shut up. If I can't have Alexander, so be it. I'll find another Adelon soon enough. Hey you. I am Mr. 234. Shut up. I didn't ask for your number. He's not in a good mood. Are the preparations complete? Yes. It's about time. <laughs> Zaydane, your role in my play is far from over. I'm gonna go rest now. Get back to work. And by rest, he means he's gonna go pass out in a pool of blood in his room. <laughs> so basically, your wife got mad at you, and you used magic to turn you into an Oglop. Sad story, isn't it? My lecherous character has led to my undoing. But how did Kuja get a hold of Lady Hilda's airship? That's what I'd like to know. He probably commandeered it to further his mad schemes, whatever they may be. <clears throat> In any case, I must get Hilda and her airship back somehow. What? what a shame for a ruler to end up like this. But we can't ignore this situation. Kuja must be stopped. Indeed, we must deal with him before it is too late. It's easier said than done. Man, you were just the one saying that exact thing and Amaran had to shut you up so I didn't get out of here. We don't know where he is. We don't even have an airship to look for him. He's right. Number two is still well, out of commission. And I doubt I can oversee the construction of a new airship in my current form. If only I were well, a man again. Hurtania, is there anything that can be done? I have spoken to Dr. Todd regarding this matter and asked him to join us. He should be here any minute. That's wonderful. I'm certain Dr. Tot will be most helpful. I'm sorry I was late. Please forgive me for calling on you such short notice, Doctor. Thank you very much for giving up your precious time to come here. Please, Minister, you need not be so formal. I heard what happened to Alexandria. I am so relieved to see you all again. Hmm? Where is the princess? Aiko is missing too. Are they all right? Don't worry, Doc. They're all right. Aiko's out looking for Dagger right now. 
Oh, I see. Well, that's a relief. So, Dr. Tot, I was wondering... Hey, guys! Jeez, what's up? <laughs> I see you are as energetic as ever. I've only got so many old man voices, and there's three old men in here right now. Plus Steiner, so... Miss Dagger, she's... What? What's wrong? I think she's lost her voice. She can't talk anymore. What? What? Just come with me. She's in the guest room. Wait, hold on. I'll be back in a minute. Come on, Doc. I'm coming too. Let's postpone this meeting. I agree, sire. You called it, KJ. We will resume this meeting later. Side A, report back to me after you find out more about her condition. <laughs> Blo oh. Who's in my party? Nobody. Uh, how do I get around in this castle? I don't want to go to the conference room. I do want to see what's up here. Let me in. No? Okay, well, that answers that question. It's in the guest room. I'm gonna eat some sandwich. I'm gonna try not to chew into the microphone. Wait. <laughs> She's sitting on her bed. <clears throat> Dagger? Princess. Go eat silver. Go eat a sandwich. We'll tell you what happens with Dagger. <laughs> Princess, what is the matter? This is a bad joke. Doctor, isn't there anything you can do? What tragedy. The princess has indeed lost her voice. After all that she has gone through, the death of her mother, the destruction of her beloved kingdom, she has suffered so much pain. P Princess. Dagger. So that's it? There's no hope? I believe this is only temporary. But it may be months, even years, before she can speak again. Until she can overcome her grief. So all we could do is wait? I'm afraid so. This is no ordinary illness. We must keep her heart at peace. That is all I can think of. Mm. Princess, please forgive me. Eiko, can you look after her for a while? Sure. What are you gonna do? Find Kuja and beat the crap out of him. Doc, I need an airship to find Kuja. Tell me how to turn Sid back into a human. That's the only way. Now, now, calm down. Let's go see the Regent. Come on, Rusty, get up. Princess, please say something. gonna have to babysit him too. <laughs> she's so sad she lost her voice. I think it's a little bit more like she's traumatized. <laughs> so, well, there's already hope for me. I'm sorry, sire. We must find the person who cast the spell to reverse the effect. Damn it. 
actually. There may be another way. Long ago, I read a book on metamorphosis that discussed methods to reverse the effect. Is this true? Yes, however, I don't know if it is a reliable source. The book had a rather comical tone. Is there a chance that I could die from it? <laughs> I doubt it will be lethal, sire. We will simply mix three ingredients and apply the formula to your body. Let's just try it. Well, that's easier for you to say. What are the three ingredients? Unusual potion, beautiful potion, and strange potion. They must be mixed in a 5-2-3 ratio. Oh, magicians of early times often use those potions. They were all fairly common in the old times. Yes, I expected the ingredients to such a powerful cure to be more exotic too. But as you mentioned, they are no longer popular, so I do not know if we can find them. I think Cinna has the unusual potion. I'll take care of this. I need to go downtown and look for the ingredients. Counting on you. Uh-oh. My hammer. Speak of the devil. It's gotta be Cinna. He's the only one who uses a hammer. It's getting hot. Whoa! Damn, I hate heights. Man, you work on a flying theater ship. Hey, I need a hammer. Let's see. Hold on. I'm gonna have to go find one. Just let me borrow yours. What? No way. Nobody uses my hammer but me. Oh, come on. No. No one touches my hammer but me. Fine. But I still need something to drive in these nails. Okay, I'll try to find something. <laughs> well, now I know where he is. Time for fetch quest. I'll try to do this quickly. I don't remember if I have to go very far for these things. Like, I think that they're all right here in Lindblom. I think. I hope. Uh, wait. If I go down to the base level, where the ship docks are, maybe Quinn is still down there. Let's re-recruit Quinna for the seventh time. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you get to the ship harbor? I'm confused. Where does this one go? Was that it? Oh god, I feel like Dragon's Gate led out onto the continent. Serpent's Gate might have been the harbor. Oh yes, okay. This leads out onto the continent. Oh, the door's closed. By order of the Regent, we may not open this gate. Hmm. Moon Teeth. Yeah, what's that all about? Okay. Serpent's Gate. I hope this is the harbor. I'll look around a little bit. Huh? Nice. Ooh. There we go. Is Quinna here? Tell me, good sir. Such a nice day today, I don't feel like working. Great, good thing you're down here slacking off. Quinna is gone. Quinna is somewhere in the city. Or else Quinna dove back into the waters from whence they came. Cool. Oh. <laughs> My nose is stuffed up. As it becomes spring, my nose starts getting itchier and itchier. Not to mention Jupiter. You know what happened today? I caught Jupiter red-handed peeing in my avocado plant. She's a fool. A wild baby. I gotta move all my plants outside now that it's getting nice. <laughs> She 
is a maniac. I knew I was smelling something weird when Syl was over. And I was like, god dang it. Oh no, Silver, don't starve. Find some food. Find some other manner of food. <laughs> I know. I know what the fiend, right? She's crazy. And also that. <laughs> it's like sick, no matter what ship is on. That's my dream. It's about to become a reality, lady. As soon as I fix Regent Sid. Good. You could lose your voice from trauma. Yeah. I mean, your hair can, like, spontaneously turn white from trauma, too. Just so you know, air cabs run non-stop around the clock. Good. Lots of bad things can happen to you. Physically, from stress. Donut board. Okay. Let, let me through. Well, they're in the theater district. <laughs> oh, that's so cruel! Maybe there was spaghetti and you overlooked it. Or else maybe somebody else got it before you. <laughs> and Grandma was unbeknownst. Tell me things. Cool. Thank you. You have a good day too, dude. Glad Limblum is picking itself back up. I mean, what was that? Give it to me. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. A ghost ate it. Silver's house is pretty haunted. It's that ghost that pops up in your window. Hey look! Hey, isn't that? I think it is. Yo! How's it going, buddy? Hey, you're the couple from Bramatia. Thank you again for your help in Bramatia. Ah, oh, it was nothing. I'm glad to see your husband's doing well. Yeah, my leg's all healed, thanks to you. It was a struggle, but luckily we were able to get here. Some of our friends made it to Limblum too, but they said many people died on the way. Jeez. I'm so glad that they're alive. <laughs> I'm so glad that the Bermatians aren't, like, extinct down to Freya. <laughs> the rally. Freya! I'm so happy to see you. Likewise, I'm glad you all made it here. Yes, it was a long trip, but somehow we found our way here. I only wish Dan and the others were here, too. Aw, oh, Dan. We've lost so many friends. Indeed. We can't get down now. We have to go on, for their sake and ours. So Freya, what are you going to do now? I'm going after Kuja with Sidane and the rest of the party. And you? We're going to regroup and embark on the reconstruction of Bermatia. Many of our comrades are still scattered all over the continent. Actually, we were hoping you would join us. Oh. Then I will see you all as soon as I complete my objective. Please take care of things till then. Will do. Good luck to you too. Thank you. I wish Sir Fratley were with us. Oh, Freya. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I want to show you something. That's right, huh? Huh? Hey, come here. Okay. Whoa. There are children. Five rats. I didn't think I could keep our promise. Who's this daddy? He's my savior. Oh. What's a savior? A savior is a really important friend. Oh. I want a savior too. No, you don't, kid. Don't ever get in that situation where you need one. <laughs> he looks cool. <laughs> I like your kids. <laughs> Someday, we're gonna return to Bermatia. Right now, we're trying to get everyone together. It's gonna take a lot of time and effort to rebuild our home. Can we go play now? 
Sure. We must rebuild Bermatia for our children. Make sure you come visit us once we're finished. Yes, after all, you are our savior. I'll definitely be there. Aww. We have to rebuild Bermatia for those kids. What about you? The city is still in ruins, but people are very energetic. I've never heard of anything like that. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Maybe your wife has. I don't know anything about potions. I'm so sorry. Do you think those kids, after growing up in a city like Limblum, are going to be happy to go back to the 24-7 reign of Bermatia? <laughs> I mean, they were born here. La, 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 la. <laughs> Is that how you play? Is that what children do? <laughs> now I know. Now I know how children work. I thought you'd all be here. <clears throat> Zidane, are you alright? I heard you got injured pretty bad. You can walk, that's a good sign. Yeah, looks like I'll live. <laughs> Have you talked to Blink? Yeah, I saw him at the castle. So what are you doing here? Just stopping by to say hi? Actually, I came here for a favor. Do you happen to have the unusual potion? <laughs> but kids don't throw their arms in the air mounds. They dance around, sing loudly. <laughs> unusual potion. Yeah! Nice! Can I borrow it? Yeah, sure, hold on. That was easy. So Zidane, you ever gonna rejoin us? I don't know. I gotta think about it after things settle down. It's boring without you. <laughs> Here you go. That was easy. What are you gonna use it for? To turn Sid back into a human. Huh? Thanks a lot! Bye! <laughs> I want to look around. I want to go inside the building. I want to chat everybody up. Talk to me, Marcus. I know you're way up there. My back's starting to ache. <laughs> I don't have what you're looking for. Sina, speak. It's gonna be really tough to fix. I don't have the other potions. This is taking forever. <laughs> Quit your graping. I like graping. No, I don't have any potions. Hey, who's this guy down here? How do I talk to him? I want to talk to that anteater. How do you get down there? What's he doing? I think he's sleeping. His eyes are closed. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, treasure. Nice. Just drop by at home and rob everybody blind. <laughs> Throw a can at him. <laughs> Throw some gill at him. Mm -hmm. Nope. Wake him up. Hey, he's not working. He's gotta get. Gotta wake up and get back to work. I wanna talk to him. Also, maybe I can ring this bell. I feel like that's a thing I could do. No? Okay then. I'll be on my way. <laughs> okay, now I have no clues where the other two potions are. You wanna talk to me? Thanks for not talking to me. Look at that cat up there. Oh, I've never heard of him. If you happen to find it in my studio, go ahead and take it. I like his chocobo statue. Hey, those are my tools. I'm gonna take them and sell them back to you twice the price. Ooh, lapis lazuli. Oh, well. There it is. <laughs> that was easy. One more. I'm in your way. Paint me. 
admire my face. Burn it into your memory. Paint it. Your pants look like your butt is hanging out. I'm out of here. Okay, let's go to the other district. I forget what, which one it is. <laughs> Cause, ah, God, because the industrial district is closed, I think. Paints that in like one of your French coils. Oh my god, I'm struggling with with running. <laughs> Getting hung up on all the corners. <laughs> Paints that in like one of your Burmatian girls. Or would it be Alexandria? There's another sleepy anteater man. Wake up. Goils? Paints that ain't like one of your French goils. <laughs> with the industrial district destroyed, this is a great opportunity to develop new technology. Work with me. No. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. So it gives a damn about potions. Jeez. He's not here for magic, he's here for technology. I gotta stop talking to these attendants. I wonder if there's anything I can do to help. My grandmother once told me that there was a potion collector who used to live in a studio in the theater district. Done. Got it. Thanks for the input, though. <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to leave out through this way, I guess. Rules are rules. No, no, you're not allowed to leave the castle this time. Alright. <clears throat> no grinding Zidane alone to get him, like, at level 50. And everybody else is at, like, 25. <laughs> I can't believe our beautiful city has been so thoroughly destroyed. But we shall prevail. We're going to make our city even greater than before. That's the spirit. This is going to be Portland after an earthquake. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker. Oh my god. Ask somebody else. Does anybody here watch Star Trek? <laughs> Oh my god, my bus has been watching over me. I haven't been able to take a break for hours. Darn it. It's not cool. Ask someone else. <laughs> like this guy? I'm on my break. So I decided to take a walk. <laughs> I don't know much about potions. The city's made a real comeback, don't you think? Sure. <laughs> People still use that stuff? I know they used to use them in the old days. <laughs> Dr. McCoy. He became supervisor for construction. <laughs> no wonder he's so cranky. Mm, I love the smell of pickles. Good for you. Look at that old man. Never heard of it. Maybe my sister knows. Maybe this old man knows. <clears throat> City's in ruins, but I feel better when I see Yasmin. <laughs> Sounds familiar, but I don't know. Let's play, Olivier. No way, you always cry so easily. <laughs> oh, she's crying! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Well... <laughs> Where'd she go? I needed to ask her about the potion. Oh my god. The other way, to the right. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Can't you see we're working? Hey, little girl. Tell me about potions. <laughs> I don't know. Ask my brother. No, he told me to ask you. It's Grandma Yasmin. The city's been destroyed, but I'm gonna keep selling my pickles. My pickles are the best. Good. Potions? I don't know. I don't put any potions on my pickles. Well, good to see you again, regardless. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's just her? <laughs> pickles are the best. Old man. Didn't know anything. Let's do this door. <laughs> Grandma Pickle. More treasure! Birds have been driving me nuts. 
There's little baby birds on the nest! Ah! I've watched these little birds grow up. I'm so proud of them. Can't concentrate at all. <laughs> oh no, here come the puns. I'm quite a pickle regarding these potions. Maybe I should come a bird freak. You should. Oh, I can't ask him about anything else. So cute little birds. Oh, just that. Let me through, let me through. Oh, it's too cute. These little birds, they've made a family. Even through Limblum being eaten by a black hole, they made their family. Inspirational. What lovely little birds. I want to go out on the balcony with them. Pepe's milk shop. Out on vacation. Pepe. Not too busy to go home. I hope the boss will give me a vacation. Just like Pepe. I don't know, I'm sorry. Hmm. Dog. Dog knows. Bow wow. Talk to me, child. Say, Dane, I think Dragoose from the weapon shop is after my sister. I don't want my sister to marry a dud like him. Help me out. What the heck? <laughs> Bow wow. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Why don't you ask my sis? Or sis, capital. Not my sis. Dog. Uh. Dragoose also sell sells items in his weapon shop. Cool. Beautiful potion. Yes, I have it. Oh, you just have that on you. I know it's here somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> you can have it. It's too old to sell anyway. Well, how about that? It's all of them. Finally, I can go back to the castle and see Sid. Not until I talk to Dracos. No, that's not him. Oh, I'm so hungry. I keep thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch. <laughs> Relatable. Check out the foundation of this building. It's the work of a master. Look at him. He's just walking into that ladder. I want to do a top-notch job like this someday. Good. Let's see what kind of items and junk there is. <clears throat> wow, there's so many different weapons. Maybe I'll buy one for my own protection. Good idea. Guy with spiky hair carried something like that. <laughs> I mean, Dragoose doesn't look that bad. He's got a nose ring. That's cool. He's got little horns. Yeah. He should be proud. That'd be a good brother-in-law. Horned nose ring weapons dealer. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, and it shows everybody in the party so I know exactly how many I have and need to buy. <laughs> So good. Give me all these things. Mm. Let's do it. She's already got that. Got that. Ooh, that's new. Oh wait, Quinn is not here. <laughs> Pretty sure Quinn already has a mithril fork. Ooh. I've got two. I've got one. One. Ooh, I want like two of these. Maybe two of these. Things that I don't have at all. Cool. We like stock up on a billion and a half of these maybe. Cool. I should probably get more of these. <laughs> Okay. Looks good. It's just me and the party? Yep. Just sitting. What else did he have? I think he had selling. Yeah. No, I'm good, thanks. Cool. Nice. Everybody was in need of some new weapons. Like, kinda... Reached 
the end with everybody's ability learning. Oh no, synthesizing. This adds just a whole other level of confusion and difficulty onto things. I better go get a mithril dagger. Gladius. I had one of those. What happened to my cotton robe? Maybe it's on Quina. <laughs> Maybe I had that? No. Pretty sure it was cotton. That looks good. I'm gonna maybe get that one. Ooh. Why does it say question marks? I already got two of them. I feel like I had one of those too. Did I never get that thing? Okay. I'm thinking about it. one more beret. Mm -hmm. Look at all these things I could get. Ooh, I'll just go with the first two. I don't want that. I don't have a means to know. Can I go with this? And this. One or two? One. I'm running out of money. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think Wayne is ready to take over the shop. Wayne Torres. Congrats, Wayne. Take a nope, nope, nope. Whoops. Thought that talking to him behind the counter might be different, but nope. He's all business. A gentle, yet strong flame. Lovely. Cool, cool. Okay, let's head back to the castle. And get Sid back to normal. And get us an airship. Maybe. Maybe an airship. As soon as I have mobility, though, I'm gonna do a bunch of side quests. <laughs> I'm gonna do all the chocobo stuff. I'm gonna do, like, there's the friendly monsters, which I've encountered a couple of them. I'm gonna do that. There's a bunch of other little, like, side quests. I'm gonna do all those things. If you guys want to watch all that stuff happen, I can stream it. But for the most part, I think I'll probably be doing that off-screen. Because it's kind of just, like, being patient. <laughs> like, the Chocobo stuff takes forever. It's fun, but it might not be very fun to watch. I could do, like extra streams. So whenever I feel like playing it, I'll just start streaming. Just play Chocobo Cotton Cold for five hours. <laughs> you can show up if you want, but you won't miss anything if you don't. these things before I give them away forever. Color of water, Un's mirror, flower of light, holy thunder, cast a spell in the full moon. Hmm. Well, Un's mirror is something that's on sale in the Trino auction house every once in a while. Flower of light, holy thunder. Root of mountain, source of sea, Sahagin's blood. Head of a revived beast. Call a dragon. Chant a spell. Sigh of whisper grass. Light of the dark. Antidote. Cast a spell in the northern wind. Somebody write these things down for me. Maybe I'll do it someday. Also, I, got, <laughs> I gotta go back to freaking Medane, sorry. Or back to Kondapiti and put this stone wherever it's supposed to go. I have no idea what it does. Also gotta find that he was in Gizmaluk's grotto. The Moogle that loves Koopo nuts. The Moogle that's Koopo for Koopo nuts. So yeah. I've got, got my tasks ahead of me. <laughs> this is the guest room. Remind me where Sid is. 
Nope. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't come this way. <laughs> what happens if I go all the way to the airship docks? <coughs> I don't know if I've ever been here before. I remember Steiner looking around here before. <coughs> Oh yeah, I remember saying Sid here. We can build the airship to a point, but we need the Regent to build the key parts. <laughs> the airship's construction is going well, but only the Regent knows how to build its core parts. That's unfortunate. Oh. I want to look at your plans. Maybe I can solve it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Go get some cereal. Feast. Be like Quinna. No cereal. A tragedy. Okay, take me up. Uh -huh. Most unfortunate. Let me have some water. While I stand in this elevator. Good. Okay. Enough screwing around. Let's do things. Is it going to be up or down? We'll find out. Now oh, he's up. I think, yep, he's up. Well, I can look at stuff in the meantime. Oh yeah. Shields and armor. Heirlooms of the royal family. In this techno castle. <laughs> Your Quina always hungering. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, I got him. I mixed three potions in this bottle like you told me to. Excellent. Let's test it right away. <laughs> Sire, are you ready? Oh, what the hell, go ahead. This better work. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa! Did it work? Hmm? <laughs> Something's wrong. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> It didn't work. <laughs> Good gracious. The reason has become a frog. Oh man. Now we'll never get a new airship. That's it, Ribbit. No more potions, no more medicine. We're gonna go find Hilda. Gather everyone in the conference room, Ribbit. <laughs> Jeez, this sucks. Thank you for coming. The Regent has an important announcement. <gasps> no, he's a frog! <laughs> You're right, Quinn and Will try to eat him. I wanted to, Rabbit. Become a man again, but this is all I got. We all know that Kuja holds the key to our fate, Rabbit. We must find him at any cost. But we don't have an airship. We can use that, Rabbit ship we stole in Alexandria. Artania, orders a bolt to service that ship immediately. Yes, sir. So, where exactly are we going? Robert, I'm still working on that. Um, you said earlier that there were black mages on Kuja's airship? Kuja's... 
Kuja's airship. So if we go to the Black Mage Village, maybe we can learn something. Hmm. I still can't believe it. Why were they on Kuja's ship? Why? Oh, I'm with Vivi. I think we should go to the Black Mage Village. Yes, brilliant idea, Master Vivi. Princess, will you be going as well? Come with us. Of course she will! I don't know if that's a good idea. It ain't shut up! Don't worry, I'll take care of her. Alright then, Herbert. Let's go to the Black Mage Village. We'll all meet on board the ship at the harbor in the base level. So we're taking a sea ship. Oh. No free lunch? I wonder who this could be. <laughs> Fresh guys up. I lost already. This town too big. What all this construction? Fresh guys saw pickles. They're delicious. Delicious? You have delicious food? They're delicious. Yeah, these pickles taste great. What? This is food? You've never seen a pickle before? No, first time. I still, still need to eat many different food and get much learning. My master tell me so. In that case, you should try one. I think you'll like it. Okay, I eat. <laughs> Grandma Pickle and Quina. The dream team. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Stuff them in your face. Well, there goes all of Grandma Pickle's wares. <laughs> I want to go back in. Let me back in. Fine. Still don't have anybody in my party. I think I'm going to get to choose who comes with me when we get onto the ship. But I need Quina. So, before I go to the base level, I'm going to see if they'll even let me go back into town. Oh, my nose is stuffed up. <clears throat> Am I allowed? I can never remember which way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Air cabs are down this way, right? Yes, right. Let me on. Where's the thing? That was the business district. Quina, please be there. Rejoin us. I need you. Stop taking my equipment. <laughs> Come back with your blue magic. we go. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, Quinna, where have you been? Say, Dane, I'm so happy to see you. This person very scary. I need help. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Do you know him? Yeah, sort of. Well, he's got some nerve. He ate one of my pickles without paying and tried to run off. I'm not surprised. She said I should try one, so I try one. I do nothing wrong. Are you crazy? I'd be out of business if I gave out free food. Okay, take it easy. So, how much does he owe you? 100 gil. Fine. <laughs> Bye. Just get that thing out of my sight. Oh my god. Come on, Quinna. Thanks, Aiden. You're my hero. I follow you forever. Please don't. <laughs> oh my god. Gee. Now that the mist is gone, why not go to the beach? She's so fucking mad, on you. <laughs> my pickles are the best. Take some pickles with you as long as you pay for them. 
Or else. Alright, Quinn is not too far behind. Yeah, Mithrafork. Uh, uh, mm, I'll think about it. Quinna, you... You wonderful thing. You had my Bidane's ring this whole time. I need to stop giving Quinna good equipment! Oh my god. I gotta stop giving Quinna the equipment I only have one of. Criminy. I just want Quinna to learn abilities, and then they run off and get lost forever. Quinna, I swear to god. Quinna, you sweet, beautiful angel. Stop leaving the party with my equipment. Now, we'll get on that ship. With all eight of my party members assembled! So, who should I put in my party? Zidane is mandatory, you can't take him out. So what other three characters should I have in my party? I will leave it up to you guys to decide. I'm pretty sure it's my choice at this point. So tell me. I'll pick whichever three get the most votes from the chat. <laughs> Vivi. Yep, yeah, I figured. <laughs> Freya. Freya and Vivi. Vivi, Freya, Zidane. Freya. <clears throat> Here we go, base level. Got two, who's gonna be the third? We've got Steiner, Amaranth, Quina, Dagger, Aiko. Aiko. Um, no, Serpent's Gate. Quina. One vote for Quina. Go. Okay, if that's everybody's votes, it's gonna be Zidane, Vivi, Freya, and Quinna. You're leaving? Have a safe trip. What's this guy have to say? <clears throat> the region was a bit unreasonable this time. I had to work on really short notice. It's a good thing number two's repairs were postponed, otherwise I wouldn't have had the time. Look at that ship. The region is waiting on board. Please use the ladder to board the ship. Let me on that boat! Let me on that boat. Give me the blue Narciss. Man, I hope this thing can get us there. Yo, what took you so long? <laughs> Blank, you're coming too? Yeah, I was asked to. By whom? By whomst? The boss, of course. But it wasn't his idea. It was mine. Uh-oh. <laughs> For a bit. We need at least one person to look after the ship when we reach our destination. F frog Plus, I still owe you guys one, so I volunteered. You don't owe us anything. He's talking. Okay, anchors away. <laughs> hey, Quinna loves frogs, so you'd better watch out. Maybe I eat it? I'm not worried. I've had more enemies as an oglop. Oh, by the way, if you ever want to change your party members, talk to me. Okay, where are we off to? <laughs> Quinn turns around really quickly. We're going to the Black Mage Village on the Outer Continent. Alright, press the thing whenever you want to verify your location. Well, I guess Quinn is already in the party. It's going to be Vivi. And Freya. There we go, that's the team! It's Baby Frog Captain. I love it. <laughs> Baby Frog Captain. So, I have a boat that can land on 
any beach on any continent around the world. I can go to the Black Mage Village right now, or I could, like, just screw around for the next 20 hours. <laughs> so, forward, return to deck, reverse. Got it. Mew, mew, here I am. So, should I do story stuff? Should I do chocobo stuff? Should I explore? What do you guys want to see? You just like crash into a beach and then get off. Just like that. Where am I? What is this little spit of rack? Good. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at the dream team. Let's see how they're doing. I do want to bring in Aiko and Dagger to get them to learn their summers, summons faster. So I'll pull them into the party every once in a while, but... Oh, great, it's one of these things. <laughs> Let's see if we're strong enough to kill it now. Let's steal from it. Wow! What the hell? Also, I just realized that Dagger and Aiko are the healers, so it might be a good idea to get one of them in the party, too. <laughs> oh god. Maybe exploring was a mistake? Wow! <laughs> oh my god! Okay! Well, that was... That was a thing that happened, alright. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hey, Jupiter. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go put the- I'll go put the stone in the- the thing outside of the Aoife tree. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, where are we? We're gonna be on the blue zone. Okay, good. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that dragon- that dragon cleaned up. None of my magic is in the- that- that's like- Thundaga is like third stage magic, I'm only in like second stage myself, so... <laughs> wow. Um, where is the Aoife tree? It's all the way up here. Fossil Roo? That's where I want to be, Kondipete, so we're headed there. Where that finger is pointing. <clears throat> I'm just gonna look around, like this, without the map in the way. We're gonna not land on that little island ever again. The shape of that island is burned into my memory via trauma. So we won't ever go back there again. <laughs> I'll do some exploring though on other little islands. Yeah, that that island was part of that chain there on this, like the bottom left of the map. Never been there. Never been to that continent. Probably shouldn't go to that continent if there's just wild grand dragons on it. Maybe I'll find a beach. Beach? Anywhere? Beach for me? There's Kondipiti, there's the beach. Nice. The nice thing about the ship is there's no monsters when you're in the water. No, that's the Eve tree. Where's. Where is? Sorry. Okay, I do want to take this little thing. Oh, okay. Hello. <clears throat> Bugs. Good. Easy. Easy and safe. What do you have? This is wind. I just attack him. Ow. Freya only has 800 HP. She is so far behind. What a tragedy. Let's try to eat him. Yeah, just attack. Let's see. <laughs> just 
just a grand dragon following us everywhere. Oh god. Wow. That was really weak, Freya. Go get some food, Silver. Hina! How'd you forget the stream? <laughs> You made it. You missed a lot. Many things happened. I have a ship now, so that's cool. Oh. <laughs> that's all the rage now. It's okay. I'm just gonna keep doing this so Quinn can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> seems like everybody's getting into secret- oh my god, Freya missed! But it seems like everybody's getting into secret world. Dagger's voice died. She went mute. All of Alexandria died. Alexandria was completely destroyed. As well as the Adlon Alexander. Alexander died. Kuja almost died. These blazer beetles died. As soon as Quinna eats this one. We died when I found a grand dragon on a little island. And then it destroyed everybody. So we died too. Many people have died. <laughs> Come on, you've got to be able to eat it at this point. Come on, Quinna. Pull through for us. Oh my god, Quinna, you're killing me. Steiner's alive. Beatrix, we don't know what happened to her. Last time we saw, or the next time we saw Steiner, he was like, I don't know what happened to her. So. <laughs> Maybe Beatrix died too, we just don't know. Beatrix is AWOL. There we go. Ooh, what is that? <clears throat> Good job, Quinna. That took a long time. So yeah, a lot happened. Wow, they're really far behind. That sucks. <laughs> She took a vacation. She took a permanent vacation. Stop, stop. Give me this thing. And then the, the regent of Limblum, Sid, has been in Oglop for a long time, so... We tried to turn him back into a human so that he could make us an airship, but we just turned him into a frog. <laughs> so now he's a frog. But now I have a boat ship, a water ship. So cruising around on that, doing cool things like coming back here to put this green stone in this. Nope. Frog. Frog time. And to answer KJ's question, SWO is Secret World Legends. It's like a free MMO. It's a PMA thing. Everybody in PMA is into it. <laughs> Put the stone in the statue. As soon as I find the right statue, I have no idea where to find it. Peru. I wonder if I can eat this gentleman. Beat him up for now. Not bad. Uh oh. Oh god. Yeah, miss. Super good. Lots of supernatural elements. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's like Lovecraftian, which is my favorite thing. doing? God dang it, don't burn, turn invisible. 
Oh goodness. Look what you've done, Hina. You mentioned PMA closing. <laughs> oh, hey, handy. I learned Vanish. <laughs> You've made Yasmin cry. Yeah. I love Lovecraft. It's so good. That's why I love Bloodborne so much. <laughs> Receives any mail. Mm -hmm. Two knolls. Let's try Quinn's new blue magic. And the gloves. So let me look at these things. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> How good is my luck? It's bad. It's really bad. One! I'll probably never use that again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, ooh. That's a really good thing to have. Oh, she's a trance. Oh. This has to be one. Pumpkin head at night. I want to look through all my stuff. Vanish. <clears throat> Surprised no one was. There was nowhere to take it. Oh, yeah. The group. I'm just surprised that they opted to close it with how popular and active it was. Is, even. Gonna attack, I guess. Nice. Quinna absorbs ice magic. Kill him, Quinna. I mean, Freya. Is it this one? Yes! Here we go. What's gonna happen? Leave alone. Okay. You made it. What? Leave it alone. Did that do anything? Oh. Honeycombs, like cereal, or do you have real combs made by bees full of honey? Now we try to eat them. Join the Illuminati. Hina wanted to join the Illuminati. Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, Quinna. Eat him. <laughs> no. That ain't gonna kill him. Wow, a thousand. I'll eat him eventually. Good 
catch up. Catch up faster. Actually, um... I don't think I did any of this with her. Light draw. This one might be better. Hmm. Might switch her to that. Oh god, that takes her defense way down. Is there anything else learning? Nope. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, it takes everything down. things as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need one more point. Since these two are so far behind, focus on them a little bit more. Quina, taking all of my good equipment. Yeah, she really does. But yeah, luckily she's already fairly strong, even being like eight levels behind everybody. I mean, I would give that to Quina, but then they'll take it again. Leave with my good, good things. That's the only one of those I have. I guess you can keep this. Magic abilities. That status. Hmm. at Vivi's equipment. Oh, that's right. I got him a new... Ooh. Cool. I'll have to bust all those out. I think Break is like instant death if it hits. Demi is gravity magic and then Comet is like a really powerful non-elemental. High Tide. He learns it so easily too. everything a lot easier than everybody else. The numbers are a lot lower. Oh, I think he has um, ability up or something. I'm not sure. Oh god, auto life takes 12. <laughs> yeah, he has ability up, that's why. Good, 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 good. Okay, good. 
I don't know what putting that stone in there did. I don't know how to find out what it did. Um, I don't know if there were any others, but I'll look. Aoife tree. Yeah, I like can't even interact with them anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, I don't know. If anybody wants to look that up, I won't complain. I'm gonna check out Medane Sari in the meantime, see if anything has changed here. And then, it's not much, but I found some goods. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. I'm gonna buy this just because for synthesizing. Maybe I could get one more of those. Ooh. I'm good, thanks. Still in the corner. I knew you could protect Eiko. Koopo. I should have brought Eiko with the, in the party when I came back here. Oh, hey, look. It's one of those things. It's the Lazio coin. The Eidolon wall. I want to look at them. Let me look upon the Eidolons. There's several statues along the path that hold colored stones. If all the stones are collected and placed in another statue, the party will receive a moonstone. The moon. What? I want a moonstone. I definitely want a moonstone. Okay, that's worth that's worth rummaging around for the last statue. Hello. I'm good, thanks. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna rest. Momatos. Okay, I'll try to find that last one then. As soon as I look at Eco's kitchen. <clears throat> oh my god, it's Lonnie. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck is she doing here? We rescued Lonnie because she was dying outside. She's with us now, Koopo. Well then. <laughs> wow. It's unexpected. Where did she go? I want to talk to her. I want to rub it in her face. Lonnie, come back. She's gone. Okay, I'm gonna go try to find those stones. Or, I could do that on my own time if you guys want me to just go to the Black Mage Village. What do you guys think? Look around for stones? Get an item? Or just go straight to the Black Mage Village and find out why they are suddenly working with Kuja? Lonnie is nowhere to be seen. There's the blue narcissus. I'll leave it up to you guys. Do I go to there? Whoops, okay. Do I go to there or to my boat? Village? One vote for that. I'm gonna have to like write down notes of things that I want to do <laughs> on my own time.
Queen is really slow. Hmm. Cool with either. I think I'll go to the village. Check out Vivi's weird new staff. Either's fine? Okay. Ugh. Get your ugly bug out of here. Oh, oh what a waste. <laughs> oh well. Let's just try to put it to sleep. Not dead yet. Good. Okay, we'll go to the Black Mage Village then. Nice. Get wrecked. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that stopped the fight! <laughs> oh my god. Okay then. I just- I never got a chance to eat it. Jeez. I on my ship. On my ship. Open up your wingalangs, let's go. Where is the Black Mage Village? There it is. Okay. Consume. <laughs> I wonder what this weird little island is. It doesn't have a beach on this coast though. So I will never find out. Let's see. The blinking yellow dot is where my chocobo is. <laughs> Choco. Choco's a long ways away. Speaking of Choco, chocobo tracks. Hmm. I'm gonna not call my chocobo though because Quinna and Freya need some experience. Scream. Um, yeah. Just kill it. Good. Become dead. Chuka <laughs> runs across the water to get to me. So much Choco wants guy saw greens. <laughs> I think this is just sort of a dead end. I think I'm kind of boxed in here. Okay. Back in the boat. What is that? Some weird looking little points. I've never been to that part of the continent. Okay, here we go. Kumarsh, which means... Um... Arr. What you got? Zagnol. I forget what these things are weak to, but I know that they absorb electricity. Just kill it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope that doesn't hurt everybody who's going to physically attack it. Okay, good. <laughs> noises. 
this. Great, Vivi. The highest level character is the one leveling up. <laughs> Not what I need right now. Slow down, Vivi. Leave some for everybody else. Like, yeah, there's... Going to PT, and there's the Black Mage Village. Get me in that forest. Ran in entirely the wrong direction from where my ship is parked. Oh, hey! Speaking of, um... Nothing in particular, I just remembered this. <laughs> so, something that happened when I was driving Lyft last night... You get a couple people who, apparently, one of them works for a hentai website, and <laughs> she gave me a card that's a seven-day subscription code. If anybody here is interested, I've got a code for you. <laughs> you don't have to say it, if you're interested or not, but the website is faku.net, F-A-K-K-U. Net, and the code is 3YFC-IBEE-SGRP-9J2B. I'll say that one more time, just in case anybody's interested. 3YFC-IBEE-SGRP-9 9J 2B. You know, you don't have to you don't have to say you're taking it, just go ahead, help yourself if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole ride she was like Well half the ride. She was talking about like talking about live streaming Oh look who's here! <laughs> Maple, you're just in time for my free giveaway. <laughs> uh, yeah, you made it! <laughs> so, Maple, I was just telling everybody that. <laughs> yeah. That I have, um. One of my Lyft passengers last night. Yeah, gave me a seven day subscription to. Yeah. <laughs> dot net. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested. But yeah, it's cool to see you here. <clears throat> Do you want the code, Maple? Do you want it? Because <laughs> I can repeat it for you if you'd like. You are interested. Okay. It's F-A-K-K-U dot net. And the code. Ahem. <laughs> 3YFC dash. You're good? <laughs> Are you sh <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, great. I don't have to repeat it and I can just get to the dialogue. <laughs> uh, looks like nobody's here. Where did they go? I'm gonna go look around. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit behind. You guys are behind me, that is. <laughs> uh, oh, there goes Vivi. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't even think about that. The people that I have in my party are the ones who are going to be doing stuff here, so... Good thing that we all voted to bring Vivi along. <laughs> what the owl? Oh. Oh my god. Mmm. Yeah, we know where all the villages are, though. They're all on Kuja's airship. So, Maple, do you need me to, like, catch you up? This is, like... God, how far into the game is this? <laughs> we are... Let's see. We are... 20... 8... And 40 minutes into the game. 28 hours into the game. <laughs> Do you want a refresher, Maple? <laughs> Haven't received any mail. That's all you gotta say to me. Let me in. Oh, it's locked. I wanna see that chocobo! <clears throat> Ooh, 
Bloop. In 10 seconds. Okay, 10 second refresher. I could, if I, if you give me a chance to think about it, I could do that. <laughs> I could sum up what's happening in 10 seconds. Um, this guy is Zidane. He was hired to kidnap the Princess of Alexandria who wanted to be kidnapped. So she hopped on board the ship. We went to Limblum because her mother, the Queen of Alexandria, is up to all sorts of shenanigans. After many trials, oh, that's nice. He made a painting. Our village. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> but yeah, after a lot of a lot of things happening, oops, Freya here. This is Freya. Yeah, I can't do it in ten, <laughs> ten seconds. But yeah, Freya here has been through a lot of shit. Both of the cities that her people live in were destroyed by. Uh, Queen Braun of Alexandria, who stole her own daughter's Adelons, which are summons, and used them to destroy... First, well first they destroyed Bermatia on their own, but then she summoned Odin, which destroyed Clara, and then she summoned Automos, which destroyed Limblum. And then, we all went to this continent, going after this dude named Kuja, who is the one supplying her with her weapons of war, which were these black mages. The black mages in this village escaped from him after, like, gaining sentience. But now, for whatever reason, they're working with him again. But, yeah, we went to this other continent in search of Kuja. And when we got here, Queen Braun also showed up, and Kuja killed her. Kuja stole Bahamut, the summon, from her and killed her with it. And then destroyed Alexandria. So Dagger, Princess Garnet, is not doing super hot right now. Neither is Vivi, because where is everyone? They're all with Kuja. <clears throat> they went away with Kuja. Two others, two other guys stayed behind. They're probably at the Chocobo Shack. Why? Why did they go with him? They learned about our lifespan. We can live only for a given amount of time. Kuja said he knew how to extend our lifespan, so everyone followed him. He's lying. I bet he's lying. Look what he's done to us. He's been using us, treating us like puppets. Maybe we are just puppets, created to serve humans. Come on, that's nonsense. Where did they go? I can't tell you that. I can't betray them. Then why didn't you go with them? You said the two other guys are in the Chocobo Shack, right? Vivi! Dude. These black mages, which Kuja made and then sold to Queen Braun as like basically like mindless puppets. They have a one year lifespan, but for whatever reason, a lot of them have, s have started like gaining sentience, including Vivi. We more or less know what the reason now is. They're made with like souls. They are soul powered, so they become conscious. Plot twist, the black mage is dying. Technically, they're all dying. <laughs> Hello, is anyone there? Vivi. Please, open the door. Chocobo. It's born. Huh? Oh. Wait. Show me chocobos. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Finally! Finally! Hooray! Hooray! I still can't believe it! Yeah! I don't understand! Why are you here? 
We're here to look after the chocobo. At first, we were gonna go with everyone, but someone had to stay behind to look after the chocobo egg. So we stayed. We kept the egg nice and warm by putting a lot of hay over it. I can't wait to show them to everyone. They're gonna be so happy. We have to come up with a name. Hey, what's happening to me? I feel strange. Me too. Oh. Maple, have you played this game before? You stayed behind because you were worried about the chocobo egg? I don't know. I wanted to follow Kuja because I was so scared of dying. But I couldn't. I felt like I was leaving something important behind. I want to ask you something. What is it? Uh, am I going to stop pretty soon, too? I don't know. Kuja said the prototype built before us would last longer. But... I am going to stop eventually. I was really confused when my grandpa died. He told me, Vivi, no need be sad. So I told myself, I can't be sad. That's why I felt confused again when I heard that everyone was stopping around here. I don't know what to do or what to feel. But when I saw Dagger crying when her mom died, I wasn't confused anymore. I was sad. If I were just a puppet, I never would have felt that way. Mr. 288, we aren't puppets. I know we aren't. I hate him. I hate Kuja. He's turning everyone into puppets just to kill people. If it weren't for him, I know everyone would understand someday. It's not fair. Vivi. Kuja's secret palace is on the eastern side of this continent. It's buried under quicksand. You'll need a ship to get there. Thanks. I hope we can become strong like you someday. Oh man. Vivi has so much on his mind. Unlike me, he's fighting so hard. I thought I would change after I met Zidane. Once I acceded to the throne, I knew I had to change. But nothing has changed. I'm so helpless. Wow. Dagger, were you listening too? That crybaby sure has come a long way, don't you think? <laughs> Dagger? Are you alright? Don't worry too much. Vivi has his own way of dealing with things, and you have yours. Come on, cheer up. We'll beat up Kuja, and he'll get your voice back in no time. Zidane! Is something wrong? Okay, let's get going. Mr. 288 said Kuja's palace is buried under quicksand, right? Yeah, we're taking the ship to the eastern side of the continent to get there. Cool. It's 10 p.m. Do you guys want to keep going? Like, I could at least get to the entrance of the palace. But I would definitely rather start that next stream. Not start it now. <laughs> But yeah, what do you guys think? It's 10. I could go a little bit longer, at least to the palace, before anything happens, or I could just stop it right here. I'm going to remember how to save. There we go. Ran across the ocean. Give me one of these. <clears throat>
And then also, next time, Tuesday, what would you guys think about starting at 7 instead of 8? So an hour earlier, for whatever time zone that is for you. Head to Kuja's Palace next time. Again, anytime for pausing, yes. Good. Yeah, how about um, would 7 p.m. versus 8 p.m. work for everybody better? Or do you want to keep going at 8? So personally, I'd be down to start later. I mean, earlier, not later. <laughs> but I want to see what 7 is good. Okay. Be really late. Uh oh. Would you be really late if we start at 7 on Tuesday, or on the weekends, or both? For 7, it's finals week. <clears throat> yeah, if we change the time, I'd like to make it like a permanent time change. Not just one time that is only at 7, but all the time at 7. So if somebody's not going to be able to make it, and 8 still works just fine for everybody, then you can leave it at 8. Weekends, it depends, but Tuesday you'd be late. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll leave Tuesday at 8 for now, and maybe, <laughs> maybe weekends we could do 7 versus 8. Or would that be confusing if the time is switching back and forth? Maybe we'll just leave it at 8. <laughs> it's not that a lot of people kind of fall asleep towards the end of the stream, so that's what I'm thinking about. Shakes Twitch. Is Twitch breaking? What do you think, Maple? Can you make it Tuesday, 8 p.m. for the next stream when we go to Kuja's fancy palace in the desert? Safe to stick to eight, yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. Let me write my thing down. Good, okay. I'm ready. And with that, I'll see you guys 8 p.m. Tuesday for another stream. Good night, you guys. I'm gonna go out and drive some drunken people around till 3 in the morning. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna make so much money. It's gonna be awesome. Good night, you guys. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you all could make it. Late or not, I'm glad you guys could make it. <laughs> good night, good night. See you Tuesday at 8. Good night.